And what's going on guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new, my name is Kale. I'm an endgame player in the endgame with four accounts actually. And uh, today we're just kind of continuing our kind of Cosmic Crucible um, battles. So we are in week five of Cosmic Crucible currently. Um, last week went pretty well, uh, more or less. Um, I believe I won two and I lost one. Um, so I am still currently in Diamond 2. And yeah, so we are going to kind of go into it. Uh, we're currently at 1723. So we are just actually barely hanging on to Diamond 2. Um, so actually, maybe I lost two matches last week and won only a single match. So let's take a look at um, who we're going up against. So we've got um, Lil Buffet, I think. Or, yeah, Lil Buffet. Um, so they are the weakest in this kind of bracket. So only 16 million. Um, I'm at 33 million the last I checked. Uh, let's see. So yeah, 33 million kind of teetering into the almost 34 million. So this is quite a big punch down for me. Um, so hopefully, you know, pretty standard stuff here on defense. Um, looks like based off of what they have on defense, they are probably... It's kind of like a it's a so-so defense. So they have a good bit still on offense. So kind of the name of the game, I think, will be to out-efficient my opponent here. So let's just kind of, I guess we'll go from right to left and uh, we'll start off going up against Rebirth. And with a weaker Rebirth like this, I am okay taking in Death Seed. Kind of depending on what my opponent is using for defense though, um, I actually have also been using New Warriors here as well if I don't need to use them for the Tangled Eternal room. Um, that's obviously not the case today. We do have a, a Tangled Eternals with Apocalypse, so that should be interesting. Uh, let's see, let's just go ahead and move everything over here. And again, as I've kind of mentioned in like multiple videos now, but um, you want to make sure that Captain Carter is not doing her special after someone has already died. Because what's happening is, is when she revives, um, they actually all get the revive once back. And allegedly, I don't know if that's a bug or kind of working as intended as it's been here like the whole season. Um, able to take out Captain Carter there with some retaliation slash counters. Um, so pretty nice there. We're doing uh, so far so good efficiency-wise. We'll go in with the ultimate here with Demesis. We've gotten U.S. Agent down once. Um, getting ready to get Captain America down once as well. And we actually were able to survive the ultimate from Winter Soldier. So that's pretty good as well. Um, go ahead and take Winter Soldier out once. And yeah, this is pretty much a uh, done deal. So fairly efficient. Um, looks like as long as... There we go. I was going to say as long as Agent Venom doesn't target Psylocke, we should be good. But we were able to take him out first. Um, so first fight went really smooth. Kind of, you know, again, name of the game is efficiency. So the healthy character bonus wasn't as good as I would have liked with Psylocke, but um, that should be okay. Going into the next room, um, let's see, we've got uh, Bionic Avengers. So just kind of planning this out a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to do the mirror here with Apocalypse. And that will leave me so we can use um, Darkhold over here. And am I taking in Gamma here and just really kind of overkilling it? Uh, let's see what else we have for offense. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just go in with Gamma and just kind of do the uh, massive overkill over here. Um, I am actually debating if I want to take out Green Hulk. No, we might as well just go in. Um, you know, might as well. I've got the Gamma team here. Um, this room in particular... It's a uh, a little funny if you do Gamma on um, defense here. I actually don't like that um, just because of the way the turn orders are with like ultimates and specials. Um, this room is not a good room to have Gamma on defense in my opinion. Um, but anyway, so let's go in. We'll get some immunities up. 
go ahead and get rid of, uh, or almost get rid of uh, Viv Vision over there. And Braun was able to take that. This will give them all speed up, which is okay. We're actually getting ready to um, throw back all of these negative debuffs. Just kind of keeping the stun on Viv, um, just to kind of stop her from basically blinding anyone. And we got rid of three of them with that one, so pretty nice. And there we go with the throwback. And they've got no way to now remove um, the debuffs since Viv Vision is gone. So we'll get a stun on Hulkbuster. And let's go ahead and get some more immunity and just kind of heal everyone up. And we'll just go ahead and pop off the ultimate, and that should end this match. Um, so nice and efficient. Um, you know, good healthy character bonus, good turn bonus on that as well. And yeah, we're going to kind of just keep the good luck hopefully rolling is the plan. Um, so next room coming on up is Wakanda. So this is, I mean, a pretty standard room. Um, not really too much to talk about here, but we're just going to kind of take in our Masters of Evil. And going in with the standard of Masters of Evil as we are going to take Apocalypse into the Unlimited Room. And uh, that does make that room sometimes a little bit easier depending on, you know, who gets to go first and all that fun stuff. Um, Alright, so we are going to start off with Black Panther, put a slow on him. And basically we're just going to kind of beat up Black Panther a little bit. Um, that way when either Ultron or Kang ults, um, it'll be a permakill. Um, we're going to get the bots out and slow down one mil over here, and he's down far enough, so let's actually now go get the stun on Nakia and stop her from kind of, you know, being obnoxious. We'll go ahead and do the speed up and kind of work down Okoye a little bit over here, and do that. Let's go ahead and permakill Black Panther, and this should actually finish off the rest of them. Oh, actually, sure, he's hanging in there. Never mind. Um, so that took them out. And uh, yeah, so nice, efficient match there as well. Um, good, healthy character bonus. No one took a turn on the enemy side. So nice and efficient there. Now we're going to go into um, this Tangled Eternals with APOC. Um, not really too worried about this. Um, I think... Probably what I'll end up doing is I think I'm still going to do the perma kill. Probably on Icarus is normally the way this fight ends up going, um, but we'll kind of see what happens there. Okay, um, go in with the special and get those disrupts out. Now this is actually probably um, get the traumas. There we go, and she is stunned, but that's okay. Go in with the special there. And now we're going to go ahead and pop off the ult. And we didn't manage to get a kill yet, which is actually kind of surprising. Um, normally at this point, um, I get to do the ult with dagger. Um, so it just means the fight takes just a tiny bit longer. And still no kills yet, which is pretty crazy. Um, let's see, Icarus is getting ready to go. No kills there, though, so we're good. And now as long as APOC doesn't go and target um, Deathpool, we actually should be good here. Um, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Um, so let's hopefully Deathpool is not targeted. Okay. Um, hmm. I think for the interest of the healthy character bonus, I'm going to delete APOC. Um, I don't want him to potentially kill one of my characters, and that would really kind of mess up um, kind of what I'm trying to do efficiency-wise here. Uh, let's see. Okay. And Spider Weaver is going to do her thing. And then Dagger should be getting ready to ult here. They all have immunity, so they won't be getting blinded here, but it does do some nice damage. And the APOC thing actually really kind of threw, messed me up. Maybe I actually should have deleted Icarus. Because um, this is not uh, going pretty now. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's actually uh, delete out of this. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to try that again. Um, we are going to try to take the APOC um, 
you know, empowered thing. And I think what we still need to do is I think we need to uh, make sure that we are deleting um, the Icarus. Uh, I think we need to delete Icarus is I think the way we are going to want to do this. Um, Apoc shouldn't be too bad by himself. Um, but yeah, that just that did not go kind of the way I wanted to. And um, honestly, the way these matches have been going, um, there's a possibility that that essentially costs me um, this match. Um, just kind of the way the efficiency stuff kind of goes in Diamond 2. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully that isn't the case. And um, we are still able to kind of pull out a win. Um, but yeah, that really is just kind of a bit unfortunate. Um Let's go ahead and do the special there. Okay, now, with Gwenpool over here, um, I forgot about the heal and the safeguard we didn't have. Um, I'm not sure what happened turn meter-wise there, because um, normally you get this... Normally Gwenpool goes before that happens, and you get the safeguard before Icarus does his ult, and you don't have to worry about the flips. Um, so that was a bit unfortunate there. Uh, let's see. How are we doing here? Alright, well, this room might be the death of me today. Um, we could maybe do this one more time, and... Yeah, that's garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Alright, uh, we're gonna try this one more time. And yeah, if I guess we don't pull it off this time, it'll be a no clear on this room. Um, this is definitely proving to be a lot trickier than I would have thought. Um, yeah, um, genuinely actually kind of surprised. Um, I honestly didn't think the APOC thing would make much of a difference in this room, but apparently I was wrong. Um, okay, we're good there. So let's go ahead and do that. That is going fairly normal. Okay, and I'm actually going to put the trauma on Icarus this time around. And let's go ahead and do that there. And we got the kill once on 2099. So that is good. I'm now going to focus over here. We got another kill on Icarus. And we should get the perma kill on 2099, as well as we didn't get the blind, but um, we got that. There we go. We got one kill on Spider Weaver over here. So this fight is going much better um, than the previous two. Um, so definitely doing a lot better on that. Okay, go ahead and do that. And let's see. I think I'm going to perma kill Cersei. And hopefully that is the right choice since I am obviously out of attempts now at this point. Um. Uh, mm. I guess we're going to go after Apoc. Um, and it's still kind of funny, too. Like, the... Um, it's weird. The, like, ISO 8 attacks are still not taking into account, like, Gwenpool and um, Firestar's passive. Um, so those still can technically miss, um, which is kind of funky. But um, anyway, um, let's kind of finish off Weaver over here, hopefully. Um, Apoc has already done his thing, so he shouldn't be too dangerous anymore. Um his normal basic doesn't really hit for all that much, um, so as long as we're able to take out the Weaver here, there we go, we took out Weaver, and now we just have to finish off Apocalypse, and um, not too sure what happened um, with the first two fights, you know, maybe I should have targeted Icarus from the get-go, and, you know, I don't know, but uh, we were able to clear the room, so that is at least a good thing. Um, I might actually... You know, I'm kind of, well, not that I'm debating, because I kind of like having Apocalypse on offense, but I can definitely see where Apocalypse kind of made a little bit of a difference here, um, you know, because he definitely, he ups, I think, the resistance. Um, I don't know if he does it for all or if it's just the horsemen. Um, I'd honestly have to look, but definitely, you know, made that fight a little bit more interesting than it normally is. So uh, let's go in with our Unlimited with Apoc and... Kind of the goal here is to just get the perma kill on either Rogue or Gambit. 
depending on um, the turn order and who kind of wins the toy costs. Um, so I won the toy costs there, so their rogue is not going to go first. So I am going to be kind of doing my thing first, which is kind of nice. Um, go ahead and get some of those dodges off of Dazzler over here. And this isn't going to do anything as far as, you know, um, getting the ability block, but it did give me safeguard as well as immunity, so I don't have to worry about anything being kind of stripped off. And I'm actually going to... Does this actually... Do, 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 that applies slow. I'm actually going to go ahead and blind their gambit, even though it is getting ready to get kind of taken off with Dazzler. Um... I was kind of hoping it would give me a little bit more time of that, but that uh, wasn't the case. But anyway, um, we're going back in on Rogue, and we are working her down, and basically, you know, the goal is to kind of get her low enough that she is going to be one-shot by Apox Ultimate and the kind of the empowered thing. Um, she is stealth right now, which is a bit annoying, um, but that's okay. She should be coming out of stealth right there. Okay, and she is certainly beaten up on our rogue currently. Um, she's almost full health, but we should be able to kind of get her down a little bit between everyone's turn. Okay, so not the case. Um, we've got no choice, so we are still going into rogue. Um, normally turn-wise, I feel like Apoc doesn't normally go that fast. Um, normally he goes a little bit later, but that is okay. Going with the ultimate, um, we lost our Sunfire once, um, which is okay. We're getting ready to lose our rogue once. Oh, actually, rogue lived through that. I'm kind of impressed. Um, okay, I really would like to stun Gambit here, but that is not the case. Okay, we've gotten rid of their Dazzler once, and Gambit is currently pinging into Apoc, so we're getting ready to lose Apocalypse. We'll go in with the ultimate here. That should get a couple kills. Okay, so definitely not a um, good efficiency fight by any means. Um, you know, definitely doing bad on efficiency. But um, I should hopefully get a kill on Rogue here. Almost. Um, there we go. So Rogue is down once. And this should kill her a second time. So now we just have to worry about Gambit. We will get the kill, obviously. Um, we landed a blind, which is awesome. Um, that will help us a little bit with um, the pings from Gambit. Lost Gambit once, and there we go, and this should finish him off. Okay, um, so again, not the most efficient fight, and we're definitely hurting with efficiency now, the way that Tangled Eternals room went. Um, so really, our only hope in pulling off a win is hopefully my opponent kind of gets mixed up on one of my rooms. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to take out Scarlet Witch and just sub in um, Quicksilver over here. Do I have this team, team saved, actually? I do not. Um, let me save this team, actually. Um, and the only reason I'm bringing Quicksilver, I think he just makes the match go a little bit quicker um, when you're going into Young Avengers, or just kind of in general. Um, you know, he summons Scarlet Witch anyway, if it does get to that point. But I think he, in Cosmic Crucible in particular, he just, um, the amount of turns he takes, I mean, he really just kind of, you know, if you're looking to up your efficiency, I think he's a good character to kind of consider. Okay, this should take out Squirrel Girl over there. Um, let's see, there we go. And let's go ahead. We've got no choice but to go into Miss Marvel because of the taunt, but that just deleted her. And we're going to start targeting Echo just because she is doing those uh, retaliations. And again, we're trying to go for just a little bit more efficiency. This should take out Echo. There we go. And now we'll start going after Kate Bishop and kind of dealing with her retaliations. Do the turn meter rewind. There we go. Okay, and he is blinded, so that's not going to hit. But then the ultimate should maybe take her out. Almost. There we go. And yeah, so that's that. Um, now, honestly, if I was looking, if I hadn't three tapped the Tangled Eternals room, I would hopefully be shooting for like a score around 50,000. Hopefully, I'm still in the 49,000 range. Um, let's kind of see where we ended up. 
Okay, so 49-366, not a really good score. Um, you know, fairly low as far as efficiency goes. So hopefully, looking at my defense, you know, maybe they'll get caught up either on my Tangled Eternals room, or maybe they'll get caught in my building momentum, or even maybe in my rebirth room. So I guess we'll have to see. Um, so I will be back in uh, just a few minutes, and I will show you the results of this first match. And we are back with the uh, results of this Cosmic Crucible. Um, this is actually the day after. Um, I just kind of, you know, uh, forgot about actually getting back on here. Um, so I'm actually, after I finish this, I'm actually going to be starting the Match 2 video. Um, but as I kind of thought, we had a Trial 1 defeat. And I'm assuming that Lil Buffett um, did not have any issues with any of my rooms. So if we go in here and look at the results, I did get kind of hung up on the um, Tangled Eternals APOC room. Um, I think that's one I got caught up on now that we're... Yeah. Um, so I got kind of tangled up there a little bit. Um, <clears throat> looking at them, uh, they were able to one-shot um, my Tangled Eternals. And then looks like they were able to one-shot everything else. Um, so something I've actually been kind of looking at also, and um, kind of on the other accounts, um, basically adding Emma into the mix does change the turn order a little bit um, when you're going in with the new warriors. And it does kind of mess up the turn order where... Um, Gwenpool actually isn't able to do her ultimate before Icarus goes. And that does kind of mess it up in a sense where you don't have the safeguard. Um, so Icarus is able to do the flips. So I threw Emma on defense. Hopefully that is going to maybe um, hang my opponents up a little bit. But um, yeah, so that was the result of match one. Um, hopefully you did find this video helpful. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. As always, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Hope you are having a good week in Cosmic Crucible, and I will see you for tomorrow's match.